Alrighty, so we have an interesting video today. I'm finally going to touch on this whole dive coaster model and Six Flags Parks um, and why I've been talking about it and why it's even been um, on my mind. So um, a lot of you know that Six Flags sent out a survey and in the survey, the dive coaster model was listed in it. Um, and that's what sparked this whole dive coasters and Six Flags conversation. Anyways, I'm going to finally touch on it. I'm going to talk to you guys about what Six Flags Parks could be getting this model, um, what kind of the model or what version of the model I think they could be going after. Will Six Flags go after records? Will they smash Yukon Striker um, out of this world? Like, um, And uh, just overall, like what the survey could have meant and uh, how we can use these surveys in the future to kind of get a grasp of what Six Flags is planning. Um, but let's get right into it. So... Will Six Flags break records? Well, this is an interesting um, viewpoint. Um, it's an interesting topic of discussion, actually. So they could go down two different routes. If they're going to be building it for bigger parks, and I'm going to get to the two parks that I think are going to get this model. If they're going to build it at a bigger park, I really do think they're going to break records. Um, I think Yukon Strikers quaking in its spot right now, shaking at the idea of Six Flags even planning a dive coaster. Because if a big park like Great Adventure were to build a dive coaster three to ten years from now, it's going to break its records. There would be no point for Six Flags to build a dive coaster three to five years from now or three to ten years from now that wouldn't break records. Um, now, if we're looking at other parks like La Ronde or um, Darien Lake, then it very well probably won't break records. I'm actually thinking the D6 model would be the model that Six Flags chooses for the smaller parks if it were to get one. So something like Valkyria might be um, in mind if Six Flags were planning for the smaller parks, but that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Valkyria looks like an amazing coaster and uh, even great competition for something like Yukon Striker, despite it being smaller. Um, a lot of people underestimate the power of a small coaster and when you're on those coasters and you're in those tight inversions and those quick maneuvers, you're blown away. So something like the D6 model wouldn't be a bad thing and it could still give a big coaster a run for its money. So it's all on what side of the, the fence you're on. Will Six Flags invest in the bigger model, the D8, the D10, or will they buy a D6 um, and it be smaller? So yes, I do think there's a lot of potential for Six Flags to beat Yukon Strikers records. In the future, um, I don't think it's going to be happening in the next one to three years, but three to five or three to ten, I do think Six Flags is going to go after the dive coaster record. Um, and I do think that this survey is hinting at a dive coaster in Six Flags' future. But I'll get to that in just a bit. So which two parks in the Six Flags chain do I think are going to get this? Um, this is going to be different for everyone. So comment down below. I, I totally understand a lot of you are going to disagree with my two parks that I'm choosing. Comment down below the two parks that you think could be getting the uh, dive coaster model if they were to get a dive coaster. Um, but my two picks are definitely Six Flags Fiesta Texas and Six Flags um, Great Adventure. I could even throw in their Six Flags Magic Mountain. Um, that park is being heavily invested in. So one of those two to three parks, I definitely could see getting the dive coaster model. Maybe all three. Um, we're seeing huge success with dive coasters. I mean, Canada's Wonderland has had its biggest blow up ever announcing this dive coaster. Some of the videos out there for Yukon Striker have 18 million views um, and news outlets are going crazy. We're hearing rumors that Discovery Channel is doing one of its biggest documentaries um, for a really popular show and series that I can't announce. Um, so we're hearing rumblings that there's a huge documentary on Yukon Striker because of it being such like a, a massive coaster and the way it's marketed. They're just really simple coasters to market and the world goes crazy for them. Yeah, they're not that thrilling and they're not amazing and unique compared to, you know, mocks or intimates out there nowadays. But they're still pack an amazing punch and people love them. So... Why do I think this is going to happen? Well, the survey is definitely hinting towards dive coasters. I think that, again, Six Flags is going to be looking at the success Cedar Fair and other parks have had with the dive coaster model. And I think Yukon Striker is going to push a lot of other parks, not just the Six Flags chain, to purchase dive coasters again. I think the dive coaster is coming back from the dead and you're going to see a lot of them. I know a lot of people are groaning. No, I don't want to see a dive coaster they're really successful and they're going to boost your park's attendance, which will in turn get you more rides down the road. 
Anyways, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.